Okay, Robin. So Jesus says, do not worry, right? Look at the birds, right? God takes care of the birds and feeds them, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, God will take care of you, doesn't he? He died for you, right? Right, Robin? Okay, so Psalm, it's actually a Psalm that talks about God feeding the creatures. It's right here, Robin. Verse 27, what does it say? All creatures, creatures look, look to you, you God. To, to give, give them their food, food at the proper time. time. Psalm 104, 27, or 26. You give, give it to them. them they gather it up. Out. When you, when you what? Open, open your hand. hand. They are satisfied with good yes. things. Okay. And when you hide your face, they are terrified. Okay. Read right. that. Mm -hmm. When you take away their breath, they die and return to they dust. Turn to death. They, yeah, they turn to death. And then when you send your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. Okay? So we're going to do a music video of Psalm 104. Here we go. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless him. O oh Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretchest out the heavens like a curtain. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his angels spirits? His ministers a flaming fire? Who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever? Thou coveredst it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they hasted away. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys under the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heavens have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, an herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey, and seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together, and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work, and to his labor unto the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. That thou givest them, they gather. Thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth and it trembleth. He toucheth the hills and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth. 
and let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Okay, Rob, in Psalm 104, let's see what the Psalm 104 really means, okay? So what was the psalmist saying about God, Robin, in Psalm 104, 2 to 9? Okay, as with the poetic language of so many psalms, the psalmist used metaphors, ooh, personification, giving life to a, and not of objects, okay, a sweeping vision of the sovereignty, sovereign rule and power of the holy creator. Yeah, set apart creator, God. Oh, all right. Okay, read this with me, Robin. So, is this literally the way the earth was formed? Okay, about the, the water was on the earth first, right, Robin? Yeah. The Holy Spirit hovered. Mm -hmm. And then earth came out of the water, right? Whoa, so this is actually in Psalm 104. Right. So, verse 6 and 9 says that. What does it say? Most, most, read that. Most likely, it is a figurative description of creation. However, some speculate a more literal view. They think that when God first made the earth, it was covered with water, we said. Ocean, either way, dry ground had not yet appeared. And God raised the dry land out of the waters and formed the continents. Okay. All right, what? Hold on a sec. That's quite a picture, right? For the land to come up like that. Yeah. Okay, what and where are God's chambers? Verse 13. Waters and mountains have a chambers, land is set up by fruit of his work. Continuing, continuing with his poetic metaphors, the psalmist describes the clouds as the foundation of God's upper chambers. Upper chambers is clouds. Okay? This figurative language does not refer to one specific location, but is intended to emphasize God's majesty and power. Okay? So does God approve wine and alcohol? We talked about wine uh, gladdening the human hearts. But too much is not good, right, Robin? It makes you not sober, right? Drunk. God wants to be sober-minded. So the verse in this psalm are centered on God's provision. Okay, read this to me. For, For the people, people, animals, and all life, life, wine is included as one of God's provisions that makes it good, life good. Why, then, are so many people addicted to alcohol and other substances? Okay, um, and how hold on, read this. Because even so when good good, good things from God need to be used reasonably, reasonably God-given gifts God can be twisted by our own lack of self-discipline and perverted by Satan, okay? Right. Who tempts us to excess in wine, okay? Or anything bad. Too much of a good thing leads to misery instead of gladness. All right? Uh... God is the divine, divine center that holds all things together, Robin. Colossians 1 says Jesus holds things everything together. Okay? Alright. And Leviathan, yes, it's said to be a real creature. We found this in the book of Job. Okay? Uh, we talked about mountains of smoke in verse 32. Mount Sinai, Rob, remember? Moses? Okay, Mount Sinai was covered with smoke when God gave a law to Moses, right? Ten commandments, right? Right? Okay. Uh, make the known. Okay, good. Meditate on God's word, okay? Verse 34. Read this with me, Robin. May, may, may my meditation, read with me, may my meta, no, meditation, my meditation, by pleasing to him, be pleasing to him, as I rejoice in the Lord. Okay, good. Meditation involves recalling and mulling over who God is and what he has done for his people. Okay? Focus on what God is saying, rather than rather than what man is saying. Okay, important to do. I mean, I'll get Batman, Flash, and this is Flash, Robin. Green Flash, Robin. That's right. Have a great day. Have a day.